takes a little strength to do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to work each finger. All right. So what you want to do is, again, we're going to use this starting on the high E string, one finger per fret, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth fret. So take the fifth fret and just hammer and continually trill it. One pick, pick. See how long you can keep it going for. Notice I'm not picking the other string. Now, then go with your first and third finger because we're going to work that combination and work those muscles. Notice the evenness of it. Now, yours isn't going to sound that good right from the start. You know, I've been playing a long time. I'll, I'll, I make it look easy. Once you've been playing a long time, you'll make it look easy too. So just remember this is an evolution, like all you're playing. First and third finger, trill. We really want to get this hand strong and dexterous. You'll have more tone. You'll be able to do more with the notes. Bend further. Uh, 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 Pull-offs. Kill the notes more. More tone. More strength. More tone. Then the toughest one, most people find, is the first finger and the pinky. Keep that hammer going. You want to feel a little bit of the burn. And then when it starts to burn, and you'll feel the burn usually right in this part of the forearm. Now a lot of students, their pinky finger is their weakest finger. And I want you to use that. A lot of times you'll see guitar players kind of playing notes with their third finger instead of their pinky. And my thing is why cut off a quarter of your arsenal of destruction, right? You want to use that pinky and strengthen it. And then you could just do that on all the strings. I'm on the B string. G string. D string. Okay, and once you get good at that, then take, um, just do a hammer pull with each finger. So this exercise, I want you to try um, one finger per fret, um, play the pick note, fifth fret high E string, hammer down hard and pull off with the first finger on the sixth, pick again, you're always going to pick back at the fifth, then do the third finger, the seventh fret, pick again, hammer, pull off at the eighth fret. Notice with my fret hand, all alternate picked and just move that wrist, not the whole arm. Then go to the B string. This is working your string accuracy too. Right, you can go all the way up all the strings. Um, then try to do it multiple times, like maybe we'll do four times each one. So I'm doing four hammers and pulls with each finger. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, B string. Notice again, I'm muting the strings too. Now I want to get you used to playing down the fretboard too. So let's do this hammer exercise down the fretboard. This is going to be a little harder. We're going to be going, playing every note on the neck. We're going to be using one finger per fret. So keep those fingers in this one finger per fret position. And we're going to go down the fretboard. You're going to pick the first note on the low E string, the F note. And you're going to pick that with a downstroke. And then you're going to hammer the next three notes in succession. And you're going to do that on each string. And once you do four notes on the a E string, then we're going to go to the A string, then the D, G, B, high E. Then we get to the end of the high E, we're going to go whoop, one fret. So now we're on the second fret, and we're going to do the same thing. Pick, hammer, 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 and then we're going to go up. Then we get the low E, over, down, and we're going to snake up the whole fretboard. So here it is slow, the exercise. Low E string, pick, hammer, 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 A string. D, G, B, high E. Now move up a fret. Same thing. start it slow and I'm going to speed it up as I go along. D string, G, B, high E. Now move up a fret, same thing, high E, B, alternate picked, G, D, A, E string. Mute the strings. Now, 
I got down to the end, I'm at the 12th fret. Low E string. Guess what? Go back and do it again. This builds strength. We're really gonna make it burn. Now you wanna get each note clean. See how each note is clean and you don't hear other ringing notes. And it should be a nice, sharp hammer on. Hammer, 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 hammer. No other notes ring. You do that two to four times and it'll really, really build strength. And remember, go slow at first. I don't care if it's this slow. You hear how clean that is? That's what you want. You want to hear each note distinctly and you want it to be clean. Slow, in time and clean is far superior than fast, out of time and sloppy. You have to play clean and you're muting the strings and you're using alternate picking and everything that we talked about up to this point in your guitar journey. So remember, speed will come later. Speed's easy, believe me. As you go on and as you get better at these exercises, you'll start flying. If you just do these every day, five minutes, you'll find your speed, your accuracy, your strength, dexterity, your finger strength is gonna go through the roof. But a big, big mistake I see is a lot of students will try to play straight, fast, right out of the gate slow, S distinct notes, and if you can get it in time, like an eighth note, one and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and. You're just picking that first note and you're hammering on every other one. And while you're doing these exercises, note to yourself, self, my pinky finger seems a little weaker than the others. So target, and that's one thing that you have to do as a guitar player as you move on in your journey, is you target, target your weaknesses because you're gonna progress at different rates with different techniques, you know? You're gonna get really good at one and you're, uh, another technique, it might be coming a little slower and you wanna, we all tend to wanna do what we do best the most. <laughs> I think it's just natural. But what you want to do is target your weaknesses. So let's say your pinky is extra weak. You got to spend a lot of time just every day working that pinky and building up the strength in it and doing these strength builders designed for each finger. Let's say it's your third finger, then concentrate on that. Okay, now you could do those hammer-ons like we were doing just now all four, you can do them one set of fingers at a time. You could do like your first and second finger. Snake it. Alternate picking, string, mute, string muting, everything. Let's say we want to do our first and third finger. Do and do it all the way up to the 12th fret and repeat it. The pinky finger, let's say that one's, you know, not as strong. Do first and fourth finger. One pick hammer, one pick hammer. A tough combination, do your in-between fingers. Try doing the second and third finger. You're not using the first and the fourth. And start it at the second fret. Remember, one finger per fret. Pick hammer, pick hammer. Then try your third and fourth finger. It's hard just hammering on that pinky. Slow, slow at first. So do those individually, individual fingers. Mix it up, do all four of them, maybe one day and the next day concentrate on the fingers individually. One time do it with all trills, like I showed you. So mix those exercises up and man, you will really find, do those in corporation, these hammers, strength builders, do these in corporation with your finger exercises, more for picking and moving the fingers. And together, man, I'll tell you, what a tag team. You will see your picking, your get so much better, your hammers, your pull-offs, your um, right and left hands will get tied together. It's beautiful just by doing these. 10 minutes a day, add them into your practice routine. All right, we'll see you in the next one.